All right. So what I wonder is how come there are no ponies that have both unicorn horn and wings? Even Celestia's nephew is just a unicorn. I think it's because of interbreeding. I think that only Princess Celestia and Princess Luna are the two horses. I think everyone else is a pony or a half breed between the two. I've got a much simpler explanation that, mm-hmm. you know, we, we know for a fact that the ponies breed, you know, biologically the same way that real horses in the real world do, yeah. right? So two, you know, a man horse and a lady horse get together and then new horse comes out, right? So it's really simple. There's a dominant gene and a, what's the Recessive other? gene? A recessive gene, right? So you think they're mutually exclusive traits by default? Exactly. So it doesn't matter who your parents are, even if it's a Pegasus and a unicorn. If We don't know if they can interbreed, but assuming they can, right? Uh, you're either going to be Pegasus or Unicorn or neither, right? So I guess what it would be is if you get the two recessive ones, you know, and that emerges, then you are a uh, a Unicorn. And if you get the two uh, dominant ones, then you're a Pegasus. But then is it on the same... And if you get a mix either way, you're just an Earth Pony. But the trouble is, like, is it on the same gene now? Like, what... What actually determines? Because if they're on the same gene, that doesn't always necessarily make sense. And what are there mutations? Has there ever been one that was born with both? Or maybe it wasn't a viable fetus? I mean... Well, th- how about this, right? So th- you look at the chromosomes, it's probably they got XY, and which is just for gender, right? So it's XY and it's XX, right? But uh, they probably have one more. So it's like XYZ is Pegasus, XYQ is Unicorn, you know. Something- See, I think a more elegant solution is that, like we said, Princess Lestia, she's a horse. And I think her bloodline mixing with the earth ponies caused these two like divergent species of earth pony, ones with horns and ones with wings. And for whatever reason, either they aren't compatible or her blood isn't strong enough for them to have both. All right. So you, you think it's her blood, though. The thing is, she, there's no evidence whatsoever that she has a spouse, children or nephew. anything. There's a nephew involved. That's, that's her, her, you know, it must be her sister or her brother's child. And it's, we're pretty sure it's not Luna. So there but that, must means be... that, that means that horse blood got in at some point. It had to have, or the horses only. No, it, that means that she has Celestia has parents. So were her parents pegacorns? It's hard to say. They're definitely horses, though. They're not ponies. See, I've already determined, right, that the, the Celestia was not the first of anything, right? Well, I yo, think, that's your theory. I'm not hundred percent on board with this yet. Regardless, my I'm here's my other theory, right? She was originally just a unicorn, and she gave herself wings. With her magical powers, the way a Pokemon evolves. So then, where did all Not the, the Earth- way a person evolves? So where did the Earth ponies with wings come from? I think that there just have always been, you know, just like in the real world, we have squirrels and flying squirrels and water squirrels, right? There have always been. Uh, unicorns uh, and pegasuses and earth ponies. I'm not and buying that. It just wasn't until Celestia came and founded Equestria that magic entered the scene. I'm not buying that, especially because there's the added problem of Cloudsdale. How come ponies with wings can walk on clouds and no other ponies can? Explain that with your fucking science. I think that there is a... Uh, there's a cloud gene that's tied to the wing gene. That's <laughs> bullshit and you know it. You know it. All right, how about... I, now, well, okay. think of this. If it's... If it's blood instead, if the blood of Princess Celestia's line, even if it's not hers itself, is what causes these wings or these other things to happen to what otherwise would be a normal Earth pony, much like if an elf and a human breed, you get a half-elf who lives a long time but isn't necessarily immortal. It's a simple explanation, right? We already know that you can use magic to walk on clouds, right? Yeah. So unicorns, since they have a horn, are able to, you know, bring their magic power from within and use it consciously. It's because the horn, the, the horn is wired into their brains. I think... <laughs> that's why it's on the forehead? That's right. I think that perhaps the Pegasus, right, in addition to having, you know, wings that you can just fly, which is just a completely physical situation, right? Because mm-hmm. uh, I guess they're like birds. Is it, look at the way they fly. The wings are not the important part. It's a cartoon, though. The wings are the important part. I don't think the wings are the important part. I think that they can stand on clouds because there is sort of a natural, always-on... Uh, passive magical power that is in their But hosts. I thought ponies without horns couldn't focus their magic, so why is it able to focus they don't. naturally? It's just, it's just a passive, uh, always-on magic spell that is just part of their genes. Wait! How'd you do that? Only Pegasus ponies can walk on clouds. Their hooves are made of the horn material. I, why just them though? And why not everyone else? That's a very that, specific. They, their gene is just, you know, it's like, why do people have different colored hair? They have different material hooves. But why would that you couldn't, tie you so couldn't closely? Make, you couldn't make glue out of Pegasus hooves. <laughs> because I, the Pegasuses are lighter. That's how they fly. They have different bones. So because they're lighter, they can stand on clouds? No, it's not because they're lighter. It's that they're, 
they're, be, they're lighter because they have different bone material. No, but if that were the case, and their then different bone material is of, magical and allows them to stand on. If that were the case, I could make shoes out of a Pegasus pony's feet and walk on clouds. You could. I think you could. But 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 you, is it magic power? Do I have to be a pony? Do I have to have the that generic always on spell or not? Okay, actually, this is bullshit because Pegasus ponies regularly lie down on clouds. <laughs> <laughs> so. Just, now what? So if you was in your hooves and you laid down on the cloud, you would fall so right through. So hear me out. Back to my theory. Mm-hmm. The celestial, the, the horse lines, even if it's not Princess Celestia's, because there's nephews involved, there have to be some other ones. I mean, if she's got a nephew, somebody had sex with a horse at some point. Yeah. And he did not have wings or a horn. So it had to have been. No, the what, nephew, I think, had a horn. He was a unicorn. Yeah, he didn't have wings, though. No. For sure. He was just a unicorn. So as a result, there had to have been some sort of interbreeding between the horses and the earth ponies. I really think that a long time ago. How do you know that there was interbreeding? It was just they were always the same race, and it's just the same way that people have different colored hair. But then, how come there has never been one with both? That seems too unlikely. Because they're mutually exclusive. You can't have. You ever seen someone walking down the street with red hair and blonde hair who didn't dye it? Uh, sometimes people have different colored hair in different parts of their body. Half their half their hair was red and half was blonde. Uh, they're actually they're like people have skunk spots. Like, what's that? It's where you have, like, one area where your hair grows white and the rest of it grows another color. And look at dogs. Dogs do that. There, but there are no spotted ponies. Every pony is a solid color. Only the zebra is striped, which is weird. They were like, what's that? Except Twilight Sparkle knew. Well, because she was educated. Yeah, but educa- that means there's books on the outside world that no one else has access to. The nobility clearly are hiding and hoarding information. They're not hiding the information. It's in a library. Anyone can go and read it. It's just you have a harder time writing because you don't have hands, so you need Spike and or someone to help you write, or you can use your horn. Yeah, watching Applejack write stuff, she's pretty slow at it. But actually, though, in the, the Cutie Mark Crusaders, you've seen them draw stuff. Like yeah. They drew a map of Ponyville we saw, pretty actually, good with their mouths. And we saw their language, too. It's basically pony wingdings is what they're writing in. Yeah. The other thing is that, you know, also look at the Cutie Mark Crusaders. You know, Scootaloo can't really fly yet. She's too young. And then, you know, also, uh, what's her name? Rarity's sister can't really magic at all yet. So it's, you definitely need to go through Pony Birdie before <laughs> you Maybe, can. So do you need your cutie mark before you can do your magic? You need that to- implies mm. that the wings are also magical. It's not just that they're physical wings, that there's magic involved. I think there, there's definitely some sort of magic involved with the wings. Because, you know, it doesn't really make sense. I still think sense. my theory is sound that the blood of these celestial ponies or these celestial horses has interbred with earth ponies, thus causing traits that otherwise were unavailable to them, like, you know, having a horn to focus magic that might have been latent or not, or having me, wings. It, and as a res- and for whatever reason, they don't have both because the blood isn't strong okay. enough. Celestia has only been there for, for a thousand or two thousand years, right? Something well, we like only that. know that a thousand years ago is when she had the dispute with her sister. For all we know, they were there for 10,000 years before that. Uh, it's possible, but they've only been there for thousands of years. How do you right? know? It could be millions. How we could have... it be millions of years? But how do we know? It can't be that long. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> also, look at the, well, the races in themselves have different functions. I mean, how, the Earth ponies all have a specialty, so I think there is latent magic. I mean, the cutie mark seems tied to their soul or whatever it is that they have in some way. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the cutie mark definitely comes from a magical source. So is it a case, are they born with it? or Like, are they born with what they'll be, or do they become what they were born to be due to their actions? Could a pony not get the right cutie mark if they force themselves down a different I, path? There's an episode coming up that I think is going to tell us more in that department, so I don't want to speculate. 